What's up guys, my name is McKenzie and this is episode 12 of my daily design series. In today's design, I played around with a Facebook redesign concept. And before you say anything, I don't even pretend to have any of the data Facebook has and designing for a billion people is no small feat um, in any way. So I have nothing but respect for the design team at Facebook. So obviously this was just for fun. So in today's design, my goals were to, uh, one, focus on search. Facebook has crazy powerful search abilities, so I wanted to emphasize that in the design. And then two, I wanted to see what Facebook could look like if it took advantage of the full viewport instead of just a fixed, um, fixed width design. So let's jump in, you can see how we go about this, and of course at the end, let me know what you think. <laughs> So Facebook has incredibly powerful search. You can not only search about a billion people, but uh, you can search uh, news, events, uh, all sorts of different stuff. So I wanted to make this a prominent feature, but at the same time, I wanted to keep it uh, very subtle. So instead of just adding an input, I wanted the header itself to be the input. Well, not the entire thing, but the majority of it. If you just clicked on it, it would allow you to uh, start typing and search for anything on Facebook. So this again applies to the fact that I don't have the data that Facebook does, uh, so I don't know exactly how all of their users use everything, 
But for me personally, two of the main things I uh, look for are the news articles on Facebook to just see what's happening in uh, areas I'm interested in and events coming up from my Facebook friends. So on the sidebar, I decided to feature both the uh, news and the events uh, more prominently than, for example, the groups and pages, etc. This is something I thought would be really cool uh, to see on Facebook. If a user uploads like a bunch of photos at once, I would love to see uh, Facebook laid out as a cool grid uh, with various sizes instead of uh, just the, uh, the standard uh, grid that they have now. They may actually do this already, I'm not quite sure. If they do, let me know in the comments below.
All right, that wraps up episode 12, the Facebook redesign concept. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this design. And of course, I wanna see what your take on a Facebook redesign is. So if you create a design, be sure to add a link to it in the comments below. I would love to take a look. And as always, come back here tomorrow for another design. See you guys.